Um, the, the requirement that we can see right off the bat about these extra dimensions is if they were to exist, they can't be the same size as the rest of the dimensions that we see in our universe. So if we look around, we can see that, you know, we have very large spatial extent for, you know, front, back, side to side, up and down, and of course time. But if there were these other directions, they would have to be really, really small compared to the rest of our universe. And the analog for that is, if you imagine looking at an extended object like a wire from really far away, it just looks one dimensional. It just looks like it has a length. But if you were able to get really close to that wire, you'd see that it also has something like a thickness, a radial direction. And so that extra direction is what's called compact, um, meaning that it's very small compared to, say, the length of the wire. So one thing that we do know is that if this had any chance of working, these extra dimensions would have to be compact and very small compared to the rest of our universe. Okay, you're freaking me out right now because, and this, I mean, I'm just going to say it. So I was down in Costa Rica doing ayahuasca for a week. And in that time, I had an experience where I met these beings who told me about dimensions that existed inside of our dimension. So they were alongside of, yet inside of the dimension that we live in. And I can only think that maybe that was a presupposed, pre-planted, post-hypnotic suggestion <laughs> because I have actually read about string theory <laughs> because if it's not. <laughs> or or Laura, what drugs have you been taking to, to yeah. get your- and my, my follow-up <laughs> question is, what did you do? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear the question, yeah. Is it possible to have a compactified time dimension as well? Or is we only, is all of the models only stuck with one time dimension? Oh, wow. I've never even considered that. Yeah, imagine two dimensions of time. Wow. Holy crap. Go ahead. Yes. So the problem with two time dimensional theories and compact time dimensions in general is that it's very hard to maintain causality in such theories. 